Hey right guys, Trace Munchers Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 4 of How I Met Your Mother Season 1. I'm going to watch two episodes today, I'm going to do 4 and 5 back to back and I'm hoping one of those two is like the first really good episode. I'm not expecting like a 10 out of 10 or even a 9 or even an 8. But I just want like a high mid seven. That'd be kind of nice uh, with a really good episode. Because like I say, the first three episodes have been fine. I won't say there's been anything exceptional going on just yet. I won't say I love any of the characters. I think some are clearly better than others at the moment. But uh, I won't, yeah, I won't say I love any of them just yet. And it'd be so nice. But I, I'm, and this is like with every show. But it'd be so nice if I could just go into an, the first episode of a show. And it does happen sometimes where I'm just in love with it instantly. Um, but I knew this wasn't going to be the case with that one just because. Like I said, with New Girl and Friends, and even The Office US, it did take quite a few episodes for me to really get on board with it. So, uh, like I said, give, gonna give it a fair shake. We're gonna do like at least a season or two of this. If I'm not feeling it after two seasons, then we'll look at other things. I think, but I, I don't think that's gonna be the case. He's after. I mean, I won't say it's a bad show if I'm not in it by then, but I think it'd just be like in terms of my taste. But we're thinking way ahead with that one. So episode four, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like if you're new. Remember to subscribe. And if you do want the early and uncut reactions to How I Met Your Mother, you got the uncuts to New Girl and Friends and every other show that I do over there as well. Uh, Patreon will be linked down below. They will be on around episode 14 of season one by the time this one is on YouTube. So I'm assuming by then I'd be fully into the show. Uh, so you can join us over on there if you want to. But for now, let's do this. <laughs> It's like a more aggressive Gilmore Girls theme. It starts with a shirt. A shirt? It starts with a shirt. Just wait for it. Happened if it had to been for that shirt. I'm surprised he remembers all these little stories, to be fair. That's kind of impressive. Shirt. Right? Yeah. Right? Look at those uh, colors. It's green and brown together at last. It's not the worst. Barney's offered me 50 bucks to say some stupid word on a live news report. Not some stupid word. Booger. That's the, that's, I think you could get away with that one. Information, my boss is about to bump me up to the City Hall beat. City Hall, oh. this thing. <laughs> so I'm not going to jeopardize my promotion by saying booger for 50 bucks. Of course not. I went to my city hall three weeks ago. Maybe it's time to start forming some second impressions. You're I like the idea. Watch Goonies again? <laughs> Sloth love chunk. <laughs> the Goonies is a good film. And we watched it at school in a class once, <laughs> primary school. Hold up. There are only two reasons to ever date a girl you've already dated breast, implants. <laughs> kind of the same reason, but. Steph. Okay, this is difficult to say. Back when I lived in LA, I was pretty broke. There's no way Ted dates as many women as Ross did. I spent a month making adult films. Wow. Okay. <laughs> How many did you make? 175. That's impressive, to be fair. Say what you will about the porn industry. They're hard workers. See? Lily guess it. When I was 16, I was driving, and I hit this hitchhiker. Okay, <laughs> well... Just keep driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one I'm going to say fair on that <laughs> committed murder. Natalie. Natalie, so here we go. Fond memories of her. I'm not going to do it, but we should do a list of, like, how many potential women are the, the mom that he's talking about. I just wasn't looking for a big commitment at the time. Of course, now a big commitment doesn't seem so bad. Maybe I should call her. What do you guys think? I don't think you're ready for a big commitment. Star? <laughs> Friendship over. Friendship over! <laughs> a fair response, to be honest. I need you to cover a story. It's down at City Hall. City Hall? <laughs> oh my god. Your dreams are coming true. So, next time you're passing oh. City Hall, but back when the stand first opened in 1955, That's good news. you could get one for only a nipple. She actually did it. She actually did it. Said nipple on the news. Oh, that wasn't on purpose. Okay. <laughs> At least it's better than booger. <laughs> booger. You are not actually find that funny, Lily. Please don't make me actually throw you out of my favorite character spot. For your next challenge, there is not going to be another challenge. I don't care how much you offer me. A hundred dollars for that? How rich is he? Of pulling one over on those bean counters who underappreciate you, and still haven't promoted you. Ooh. And so for two more hundy sticks, baby's gonna look in the camera and say this. He's rich. $300 just like that. I gotta get back to work. I'll see ya. Bye. It's gonna be something baby's so lame. Like, big bugger up my nose. 
And uh, uh, the laugh track goes wild. It, I found Natalie's number. Hey, Ted, nice shirt. Is it yesterday already? <laughs> I am calling her. <laughs> That's a singer. Who are you, by? Natalie. It's Ted Mosby. Go to hell. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's that. That's not how he met their mother. Why did you guys break up? He wasn't ready for a commitment. Uh huh. There must have been something else. And her birthday might have been coming up. He left skid marks on the bed. 100%. That's something Ted would do. Don't even tell me otherwise. Dumped her right before her birthday? No. Oh, Lily's not happy. Uh oh. <laughs> Natalie! Hey, happy birthday! Listen. Oh, <laughs> that's bad. That's not great. Well, did she cry her eyes out? I don't know. How do you not? Ooh, on the phone. You didn't. He did. Natalie, hey, happy birthday. Oh, he left on the answer Listen. machine. You're awesome. Three you messages. Are. Awesome. I'm just like super busy right now. That's not great. That's actually really bad. <laughs> The amount of slaps he's got. Personally, I'd rather hear the bad news on an answering machine than face the humiliation in person. It's the least painful way to <laughs> Lily's is on it. Who are you calling? Hi, Marshall. It's Lily. We're not going to have sex for at least a month. But you're awesome. Okay, bye-bye. A month, bro. That's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> I didn't want to see her cry. Well, guess what? She cried. You just didn't have the sack to face those tears. Get called out, Ted. My younger sister just got married and I'm about to turn 36. Fantastic. What? Was he just talking about his sister having sex? I'm very confused by what he just said there. Sadie Margolis, New York's oldest There we go, bugger on my face. Uh... On this, the eve of their 100th birthday. I'm a dirty, dirty girl. Oh. Now, recording live. No, you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> Joel Adams wants to hey, see you. Hey, $200 call. done. Before you say anything, I just want to say I... They're going to love it. They keep doing it. Oh, my God. You're bringing in all the views. So my dog keeps going... <laughs> what? 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 Well, you have dogs, right? What do you, what do you think that... Ah, she sounds like my dog. Oh, my God. All little small dogs do that. That is my dog, Ellie. Whenever she walks past another dog. Oh, my God. Hi. That's horrific. I only came down here because you wouldn't take my call. Maybe that's a sign? Why don't you leave a message? Oh. Ha <laughs> good one. Okay. Why would he I'm buy that? The sock monkey here. Oh, she's, he mentioned that she, he loves the sock monkeys, yeah. He did mention that, actually. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. I know you're mad, but happy birthday. Maybe we should just call it a day. But she's sleeping with someone else, imagine. But you're awesome. Oh my god. Okay. It actually is the definition of it gets worse. <laughs> Guys! Oh, bro. It was a surprise party. It actually got worse each time. And I suppose you're suddenly ready to get married and settle down? Well, yeah, actually. Alright, okay, so you look I'm to your past. Give me another chance. No. You must think I have absolutely no self-respect. Come on, just a cup of coffee. Please, Natalie. No. Give me a chance. Do not give Ted a chance. He's not really done that much to be impressive. Okay, well. Wow. I mean, she said, wow. Tea candles, the sock monkeys, Belle and Sebastian. There we go. It's going to do another reveal, isn't it? Believe Ever After wasn't far off. Until... Well, I better run. I have my Krav Maga class in half an hour. Krav Maga. How cool is it that she does Krav Maga? I don't even know what that is. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. She is not the mother. Bye. Hold on to that one. Yeah. I have to break up with her. All right. <laughs> okay. I like the quickest relationship. Why couldn't you leave that poor girl alone? I know. I hate this. These past three weeks have been great. Oh, it's been three weeks. Okay. Do this face to face. I just, I don't know what Whoa, I'm going to say. Whoa, what a brave I'm not man. Ready for a commitment. Oh, that's such a cliche. It's not a cliche. It's a classic. There's no better in breaking up. There's only less He's awful. not wrong. A cliche is a cliche for a reason. It's comforting. <laughs> he has a point. What's the best way to break up with someone? I'm dying. Get out of this. Okay. How about... Um, uh, no. I it's not know. you, it's me. Nah, um, that is another one. You look fat in those jeans. You're figuring right, out. Right, okay. 
<laughs> that you... would actually turn her to just hating you instantly, so that probably could work, but maybe. Have you considered telling her the truth? <laughs> Seriously, honey, men are working here. Ted, <laughs> what is the truth? Why do you want to break up with her? The truth? She's not the one. Okay, so well... tell her that. Oh, you can't tell her that. That's horrible. Well, you could say that. That's not too bad. She's gonna cry. Yeah, and he's gonna sit there and he's gonna take it <laughs> no, like he, a man. No, you will not. I have to do the mature thing. Ted is not a man. You wanna talk mature? I just wrapped up a live newscast by honking my own boobs. Get that cash. Sherbatsky, new challenge. Another. And this one's big. But so is the cash reward. For $1,000. Oh, run! All you have to do is get up there on the news and do one of these. Floss. Right. That's not too bad. So, Coach Dave Shula, screw he you and your like crappy steakhouse. He has, like, trauma related to that, I think. Just write it down for me. Yo, she's getting rich. So, the next night... Oh, in a restaurant. To, dinner ...to do the mature thing. In a restaurant, bro. Oh, my God. Three birthday cakes. So, tonight, can we just skip the cake? Wait, what? Today's your birthday? Yeah. No, it's okay. I wasn't telling anyone about it. Oh Today's your birthday. Don't do not do it today, Ted. Just wait another day. You can wait oh, it's okay. another 24 hours. Maybe even 48 hours, actually. Naval. What? I can trust again. Oh, that's the worst. That's the worst. That's the not. <laughs> if he does this today, he's a freak. The zero way he does this. Bring it home. But the most exciting moment. She can do it. A grand that would have to be this one. I never thought I'd have my story told. Oh, barely. Thank you, Miss Robin. From Metro News One. Thank you. And right then, Aunt Robin realized how important her job truly was. It's an honor to tell your story, Henry. Because she can still do the thing, though. Now, Metro News One may not be number one in viewership, but this reporter takes pride in. Whoa! Oh! Okay. oh my God! I'm covered in horse crap! <laughs> I'll tell you, your money's worth on that. That was beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> Surely she'd be fine at this point. I said no one was watching, so. Natalie, there's something I have to say, and uh, now, no Ted. Oh my God. Right. I want to break up. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you're the one for me. Uh... I don't want to waste your time because I, I... at least we didn't spend five apps with this relationship. Oh my God. By you, and I think the best way for me to do that is just to be honest. She's gonna stab you with a fork. I'm sorry. There are only tears. She's gonna stab you. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I'm sorry, I just, I, I I thought the mature thing to do it's would be- It's my birthday! Yes, I know, I just realized <laughs> that it was- It's my birthday! He's such an idiot! The odds, it's like, you, you lost the lottery! Oh, so dating you is like winning the lottery? No, 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 I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, so what's the problem? I... You chose to do this in a restaurant as well, that's on you, bro. Try! It's ineffable. I'm not effable? <laughs> no, 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 ineffable. Ineffable means it can't be explained. <laughs> oh, so I'm stupid? What's going on? What do you think, Ted? I waited three years for me to get over you. Everyone's got a good story now. Not with you again, only so you could dump me three weeks later again on my birthday! <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not like uh, that. It's literally like that. Remember when Natalie said... I have my Krav Maga class in half an hour. Oh yeah, what is Turns that? out Krav Maga is not a kind of yoga. What it's is... a form of guerrilla street fighting developed oh. by the Israeli army. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he deserves that one. <laughs> of those two gentlemen at the bar. My knee! It's oh. in my hair! <laughs> hey, these people are gonna watch now. People are watching? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Are you all right? I really thought I was doing it the good way this time. I guess there is no good way. No, you went about it the worst way, Ted. There's the best of the worst way. You went for the worst of the worst way. All those wonderful memories were replaced oh. by this one. But uh, you know, <laughs> bad as that night was, within Fair a enough. year, Natalie was married. Jeez, you wailing on him. You got beat up by a girl. Hey, she knew Krav Maga. You are right by a girl, bro. Yeah, that was uh, the best episode so far, easily. I would say, actually. A good, actual good one. Um, Ted's an idiot. I, Ted's an absolute fool. I don't really get what he's playing at. <laughs> um, 
I kind of hate this episode. It's so painful to watch, and that beat up by a girl comment is stupid. But the side story with Robin is hilarious. I don't know. I felt like the story with Ted, it, he came across like an absolute knob, but I like the story. I like that they, with the answering machine thing, it kept revealing things. Like he did it on the phone, which was bad enough. Then it was on her birthday. Then it was on the answering machine. And then it was while they were doing like a surprise party thing. So I liked all that story and Ted being all like, oh yeah, I've, I like this shirt now. Maybe my change, um, my taste are changing and all that. So, which it does. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry wearing like just some baggy Nirvana shirt. So, but that doesn't really get my point across. But uh, my taste have changed with, yo, I did not care about jewelry look at me now i have a ring on boom there's taste tattoos boom changed would not have got those five years ago uh, but ted went about it in the worst way possible and decided to go to his past and date someone that he dumped on her birthday and then did it again he's an absolute knob <laughs> um but it was funny to watch and then robin and barney were both pretty good uh, i like lily this episode as well she was i mean she's been good most of the episodes so far to be fair but uh yeah she was really good this episode as well so yeah, again not this is what i wanted i wasn't expecting like an incredible outstanding episode or anything which this wasn't but just to have a good episode to like get me i was like i, I wanted it to be this episode or episode five because like i'm gonna watch episode five uh straight after this as well uh just to like get me more invested in it uh and i felt like this definitely did that as well i, I won't say i'm like oh yeah i'm fully on board with it now but this helped this episode de definitely helped because it's the best that I've had out of the four, in my opinion, so far. So I'm going to go a seven out of ten with this episode. So I think, let me just check here. We've had uh, from episode one a six, a six, a five, and now we have a seven. So definitely a big step up from the last episode. I'd say like the last episode didn't really do much for me. Um, I feel like there's still some jokes here that were a lot more forced, but like bugger, and then Lily's laughing. It's like, okay. Uh, but they felt like there was less of those in this episode compared to episode three. Uh, so yeah, there we go guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments and I'm going to jump straight into episode 5. So I'll hopefully see you for then. Until then, take care. Peace.